Hi everybody, uh, Jose Luis Morales with the Morales Real Estate Group here at Remax, the real estate company, and welcome back to my video blog. Uh, today, I wanted to go over who pays for real estate commission and how a real estate agent is compensated, so stay tuned. So one of the most common questions that I get from people is who pays for a real estate agent and what are the typical typical costs associated with a real estate agent? So essentially the way that a real estate agent gets compensated is they get compensated on a commission uh, basis. This commission is paid at the close of escrow, meaning there's no upfront fee uh, for using a real estate agent and that gets paid only when the transaction closes. So if you're a seller, uh, typical commissions in California are anywhere from 5 to 7%. And if you're a buyer, the seller typically pays the real estate commission. So if you're a seller, if you're selling a property, you're in charge in California. It's very common that the seller pays for the commission. If you're a buyer, then these services essentially come to you free uh, and you don't have to pay any real estate commission. Now, some of the other associated costs when selling a property are escrow, title, transfer tax, notary, and those kind of things. Uh, if you're a buyer, same cost as a seller. The only thing is that you have your buyer closing cost as well too, which inc include escrow, title, uh, and your loan if you're getting a loan. So if you have any further questions about who pays for what, uh, how much you would be left with at net if you're considering selling a property or what your closing costs would be, uh, please give us a call. Our phone number is 805-228-4672. That is 805-228-4672. Thank you so much. Make it a great day. We look forward to working with you and we look forward to helping you sell your property. Make it a great day. Adios.